Are you here tomorrow or not? Maybe I'm not. Great. Good night. You're walking out on your family because you'd rather be a pirate. I'm walking out because I've got a head yelling at me. Are you going to be a part of this, or am I going to run you over? That's the deal. Everyone, welcome, welcome to Jack's Ale House. Come on in. Hey. A lot of people ordering food. We're going to have some quesadillas coming out. I'm throwing one on right now. Who still needs a drink? More than half the room. Come on, let's go. I've been standing here for like 15 minutes, and they haven't even acknowledged me. Like, I don't even exist here. Kristen, take these. Hey, ladies, it's one drink at a time stuff. It's just not going to get you out Come of Come on, Chris. Christine, just toss some more drinks. It'd be quicker for me to just go to, like, Manhattan and get a drink right now. We're at 17 minute ticket time. 17 minute ticket times. About five minutes behind. Brother, I apologize, but we can't serve this quesadilla. Okay. It's got to go in the trash. No more burnt food. We ain't serving that. We can't do it. I'm sorry, brother. No problem. I need a two Guinness. I know. Everyone needs Guinness right now. Back here is getting to be a cluster of Christine, stop freaking serving them. Jimmy and Christine are going at it with each other. Wow, you're freaking annoying stop right now. Stop it. Stop. You're stressing me out. Am I the only one that's Getting overloaded here. The is cool, and he up everything back here, and he's really just in the way. So how long have you been waiting for drinks? It's like 10, 15 minutes. So is he in trouble for bringing you here? Uh, <laughs> not yet. Yeah, it's a mess. It's overwhelming. I'm outside dealing with all those people, and I put drinks up here, but nothing's getting made. So I went back and did it myself. All I knew what I was doing, and I did it. We have a bar that's so tight you can't move behind it. We don't have stations. We don't have systems. We don't have any ability to serve the guest. Brian, we have a there first one. I'm not sure who ordered them. You know where these go? What does it say in the ticket? Why don't they, they need to travel with the ticket, right? The baskets come out without the check, so you don't know where the food goes. By the time the guest gets it, it's cold and it's too late. We're going 20 minutes on a quesadilla. Yeah. Jimmy's been drinking back here this entire time. Whenever you drink behind the bar, you're putting liability on the bar itself because of your own judgment's impaired. You cannot judge what's going on out here. I've been standing here with an empty glass for about 20, 20 minutes and uh, found somebody to help. My brother, you cannot serve that. I know what to do. You know what to do? Are you sure you know what to do? Are you sure you know what to do, George? No more burnt quesadillas. You know I mean? That's all I'm asking, brother. The debt toll has raised in the quesadilla graveyard. They're overcooking. We're at about eight quesadillas now in the ground, six feet under. Listen, stop talking. You guys are talking. Shut the up. No, I'm at the register. What else am I going to do? You're slowing the whole thing down. How many times has your husband said A lot. So that's the old Jimmy. It's still there, right? I made it clear to Jimmy this afternoon that he was to show discipline. <laughs> Mr. Hero is no hero to me. Listen to me. You say to either of these bartenders one more time, I will embarrass your ass. And I'll tell you one thing. You take one drink, I'll fire you in front of everyone. You hear me? You take another drink, I'll fire your ass in front of your brothers. That's the deal. Who the are you talking to? I'm talking to you. You're failing because you're a Wow. Either he is leaving this bar now or I am. Jimmy, get the out of here. Nope. Oh, yeah. Jim. Out. Bye. This is such bull. This last my 100% my fault. I'm not leaving. I'm going in. Really? Jimmy, get the. Now I'll leave. This could have been a big night for us. Thank you, Jimmy. F you. That's it. I'm done. Later. Adios. We have to run this bar and run it the right way. We can't operate this way. Everybody! I apologize, but you have to live. What I saw out of Brad last night is a complete disconnection from what's going on in his own bar, which has led to bad team morale and an untrained staff. So today in training, we're gonna take it back to basics. All right, so last night, you guys were asked about a gimlet, which is a very much classic cocktail. What's in a gimlet? 
I have no idea. Nobody no idea. comes in and orders a Gimlet ever, which I have never sold in 16 years, not once. I'll just tell you right now, Elisa, as a bartender, you should know a Gimlet. Okay. I don't know what Elisa's deal is with the attitude, but John brought me here to help, and Elisa is not helping any of that happen. What's your drink you served last night? Alice. The Alice? Alice. Would you mind maybe jumping back here and making it? I don't want to play this Devin, game. you're the manager, <laughs> man. This is when you step up. Are you just winging it? I mean, are you counting? What are you doing? A little bit of both, I guess. Okay. Well, let's all taste it. That watermelon still is too punchy. And Elisa, in no way am I knocking your drink. I just think the proportions might be off. But the whole point, the whole point of this training, Elisa, is to prove and get better. I hope I didn't offend you. This is exactly what I don't want. Can we not do the camera thing? Sweetheart, hang on. I hang don't. On. This is exactly I know, what I, know, I didn't I know, I know, want. I, know I don't you want don't. this. I come in here and I bust I my know, ass I, every I day. I understand. Bro. All they do the is they're make doing a drink. it in a way. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Don't. He's just saying, put it in a smaller glass. But when you when yeah, you flood it with too much, like we're putting it in a beer glass, that's all he's saying. I think she had a little problem with the criticism because that was a drink that she'd made up. If you want to go, if you want to go, you Thank go. Thank you. All right. Thanks. She just, she doesn't deal well with pressure stuff like that. I wish she'd have stayed, but under the circumstances, I thought that it'd be better if she just went home. Too bad. What's going on? You know, she just feels like she's being hammered on. If the person that is supposed to be training doesn't want to learn, yeah. What do you think is going to happen next? So I had to let her go. Oh, you just let her go? Not as fire fire. I just told her. Oh, home. let her go home? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's obvious that Elise's attitude, with her being here for the last 16 years, and her know it all and know nothing kind of demeanor, is not good for the staff. But the idea he's not firing her right now is incredible to me. All right, well, we're going to get back to training. When he said he let her go, part of me was like, oh, finally. But hearing that Brad just let her go home. It's upsetting and that there needs to be standards and rules set so she can't cross that boundary. So tonight is a success. Sound good? Yes. Yeah, what would you like, sir? Hmm? You got it. Hi, Eva. Turn away your side car, right? Yeah. Captain Morgan, pineapple. Sure, I'm for you. Thanks so much, there. Thank you. Oh my God! So there's nobody here. Upstairs is open as well. Hi, how are you? Let's do that. Too much pineapple. Too much pineapple. Dump it or remake it. All right, guys, it's go time. Let's go, let's go. You got to move fast. Where are you going? Where's your garnish? Oh, come on, girl. It's not that difficult. Don't push it up against your body. Sit it on the side, snap it just like that, and it comes out. Okay? Let her go. Make some drinks, Sam. Come on, she's showing you up. I'm trying, I'm trying. Make two or something. Let's go. I hate working under pressure. Uncle, I didn't write that slip up for that one slice of pepperoni. You're doing all right. Uh, golly, what are you shaking? I'm not supposed to take it. You got any food orders for me for the run? Let me know. I'll run them downstairs. I have one right here. What is it? Pizza pie, half pepperoni. I need a slice, too. A slice? OK. Yes. So this is for upstairs, one cheese pie, and I need a slice for upstairs, OK? So, Tom, what are we doing? You have to go up, see if they have any tickets. Yes. But they're what? too busy. I have to. So they're yeah. running up and down. Right, right, right. All night long. That's crazy. He's running up and down those freaking stairs all night. He's going to have a heart attack on those steps. We need better systems. We got to get a POS system in here. Allie, where's this going? How are you doing? 
Yeah. So I need another one. Where's it going? Over there. I'll be right back with the other one, all right? I'm sorry. Table three, right now. Oh, God. You're me over now. Go out on the floor and handle the table. Please. All right, what the hell is going on down here? God, I don't you to talk to me. What? Mm -mm. Sam, where's your smile, girl? I don't know. Drop it? No, I want to leave. That's not the attitude we're looking for, boo. Sam, her anxiety is increasing by the moment. I'm going home. Here you go. You're going home? Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm done. What do you mean you're gone? I'm tired. I'm done. What? I'm tired. I'm Sam, done. where are you going? I'm going home. Sam. And there she goes, walking out the door. I'm going home. I'm tired. Quit. Okay, serve it. You got it? Come on in. Come on in, guys. If you can find a seat in here. I want to grab them, and I'll grab these two. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming in. How are you? Wow. What do you need? Here you go, girl. Good movements. All right. How we doing in here? Any tickets yet? Yes, one ticket. Just one. Okay, guys, it's coming, so get ready. Got it. We're going to get nailed in just a few minutes. Okay. Table or bar? There you go, honey. Thank you. 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 Come on, yum yum. Add ice glass. Build in your drink glass right there. Then you add ice to both glasses. Then you shake. Then you strain. No. How's everybody doing? Everything tasting okay? Take it in. Went to steak. I got two orders of wings, another deep fried mushroom, two more orders of wings. Hustle. Yes, sir. Christina, order up. There you go. Don't forget those little things. Yes, sir. Aaliyah is doing OK. She's really risen to the occasion. Good job. But Yum Yum is a disaster. Nope. Hey. It's two whiskey, one I lemon juice. That. No, you did three quarter whiskey and then three quarter simple. If you were here, you would yeah, have known. Yeah, I got it. Yep. Always glass to the back. Glass to the back, ten to the front. Don't ever, don't ever do that. Pour out of your tin. Pour out of your tin. Not a. Didn't shake it enough, you didn't shake it right. What's How we doing, man? Give me a brief. What do you think? Disaster. Yum yum's out. Total quitter. So we gotta elevate this. Absolutely. It's dripping right on the table. Yeah. So if our room is here 12, 14 hours a day, what the hell is he doing? It's not training him. This is the slowest Mother's Day we've had ever, child, since I've been here in 10 years. And we can't do our job. He's not cleaning the kitchen. He's not organizing the kitchen. He's not cleaning the kitchen. What the hell does this guy do all day? You have a lot of nerve, ma'am. You have a lot of nerve, ma'am. Now that wet chicken is going in the fryer. Yeah, and wait till you see this fryer. Look at this foam or froth. Look at that. Look at the foam. Oh, my god. I've never seen it that bad, ever. I've never. That tells me the bottom of the fryer has not been cleaned, so all that stuff is kind of floating to the top. That's gross. So if you were Ramiro and put up 300 grand, and was losing $6,000 a month. And that's the way Raul cleaned your kitchen. Would you be OK with that, chef? Not at all. He'd be out. He'd be out the back door. Look at this, chef. 
Chef, can they serve that food? They cannot serve that food, John. They can't serve any of it. No, we can't let them get that. Let's go in together. You shut the bar down, because they can serve drinks. Shut the kitchen down. I'll go for the owners. You got it. His kitchen is disgusting. His cooks are cross-contaminating everything. And Raul, who's supposed to be running this bar, doesn't care. And Ramiro is standing watching the entire thing, and he doesn't notice either. Oh, sh Hey, guys, no more, no more drinks. Everything stopped right now. Is he coming for me? That's what I was thinking. Is John coming for me? Where's your brother? He's right back there. Let's go in the kitchen. All right. And when he came up to me and said, where's your brother? Yeah, well, I kind of thought, well, I think Raul's now in pretty deep You can't serve this food, man. Look at you can't let stuff sit in here. This is disgusting, guys. You got to shut this place down. There are some things that need to be cleaned, but at the same time, we don't have proper cleaning facilities to clean any of this. So when you opened this bar, what was the deal with your brother? The deal was, you know, he was going to run it. He's going to be the nuts and bolts guy. You know, I was going to help with the, the business end. How'd that work out? Well, it's not working out good. That's why you're here. How much money you got in this place? About 300000 300000 How much money does he have in it? None. So your brother it does, it doesn't respect your money, or he's an idiot? I think he respects my money, and I don't think he's an idiot. So is he lazy? No, absolutely not. So working. Really? So did you change this oil? Look at the color of these, Chef. Is that right? No. So, look at that oil. Can any of this be right with that oil? No. no. So all of it is freaking wrong. That's disrespectful, man. You did as disrespectful to your customers. I'm, I'm trying to do what I can do. You're going to get I'm, somebody I'm, I'm, sick. I'm one guy in here trying to do what I can do. So are you they're a saying, whip? Saying, are you an idiot? Saying, are you lazy? They're saying I'm too what hard. exactly are they're you? Saying I'm too hard on these people. I'm trying to do the best I can do, the best I know how to do. And yeah, we're up tonight. So the best you can do sucks. You know, when you were prison guard, you protected people, didn't you? Yes, sir. Your job was to keep the population safe, correct? Yes, sir. Did you keep them safe tonight? No, sir. Yeah, blew it. Bottom line is the responsibility for the issues, for a lot of the issues we have, falls on my brother because he's the manager. Listen, I didn't call this guy. He called me. So I came to take care of my little brother and help him out. And I'm doing the best I know how to do. I don't have no help. I'm trying and trying and trying with these people. These people are making minimum wage, and they're making more money than I am in this Place. Good. This place is grinding me to the bone. This job is grinding me to the bone. Listen, this they're doing throwing at me. This is really disrespectful. I understand you're here to help, and I understand we're up, but that's really disrespectful, sir. Well, because that was disrespectful, and life isn't fair. So if you want my help, you're gonna have to deal with the fact that I do disrespect you right now. And I'm I to, do, and I'm willing to do that. I'm willing so to take that. So say yes, sir, and clean your. Kitchen. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm more than welcome. Yes, sir, and then shut up. Yes, sir. Thank you. Clean your kitchen. You control your brother. Tomorrow I work with you, not him. Yes, sir. Good night, gentlemen. You all right, man? It was like getting bum rushed by inmates, dude, to be honest with you. I mean, I've trained for this kind of thing when I was in the tactical team. You know what I mean? Where inmates bum rush you like that, but I was, I was totally out, caught off guard, dude. Now, you, you want to know what disrespect is? That's disrespect. Hey, don't come on me now, because it's I'm no letting you know. I'm know letting you know. I know. You the one touching the rags and doing everything he just said, right? Oh, my God, I feel like I don't know if he was just yelling at Oh, I don't know if he was yelling at I really don't know what was going on back there, but I'm worried about both of them because um, in the end, we're all family. Right now, I don't feel good, but he's my brother. I love him, and I don't like for all the blame to fall on his shoulders. But, I mean, he's the manager. He's the nuts and bolts guy for this bar. So, you know, he's responsible for making sure that they do uh, what they're supposed to do. I use the gloves when I touch the raw meat. So I wasn't touching nothing. No, 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 no excuses. No excuses. Yeah. Yeah. They just hey. I get in there and work, dude. I'm not one of these motherfuckers standing around like I'm eating and chit chat with my wife, dude. I mean, I, I try to take care of these people. Man, it's important to me, dude. Hey, man. Of course. He's... Come on, dude. So, hey, listen, man. Talking to your buddies ain't gonna fix the problem, bro. Let's just get it done, man. Let's just, let's just well, do let's whatever. get it done, bro. Well, well, you told me to get out of here. I'm, a, I'm out there. You're doing here. That's what you wanted. You want me to help you in here? I'll help you in here. Let's fix what the problem is. Let's just do that. You ain't the let's one contract getting, that. You ain't the one getting bombed on. Listen, man, I understand that. But the whole point is 
Let's fix the problem. I feel this is going to move us forward. Like John Taffer said, he's going to help him become a better manager, and he's going to help me become a better owner. He said it. He's going to teach you how to run this bar. He's going to teach me how to be a better businessman. Let's do it. And I'm all for it. You know, so let's get past how we got here right now, and let's move forward with John Taffer's ex expertise. I just signed up for this I'm not. No, come on, dude. I'm going to late, bro. I just signed up for this dude. Oh, my wife's out there crying. You guys don't give a Listen, man. What are you talking about, man? Listen, listen. Man. listen. You, you know what? You, 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 you can't, can't leave, man. I told you a lot of times, take glory and do what the f you got to do with this Listen, dude, you can't no, do that. Man. I ain't going to have my wife out of crying like that. But, but That's not going to happen. Listen. The thing I'm not going to tolerate, dude. We put our listen, heart and soul listen. Like, we told her, no, listen, no, 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 I was no, telling no. her straight up, it's for the better for everybody. No, no, it's not. That's, that's not, not for you. True. That's not true. What that's do you mean it's true. not for true? That's not true. It ain't better for me and her. That, that's not true. Listen, bro, good luck. I'm one mother in a boat full of 30 mother that don't give a No, I, oh, poor Raul. That, bro. I, I, I'm not that dude. You know, I'm a, the sun's going to come up in the east tomorrow. It's going to set in the west, and I'm going to live my life, dude. I'm going to do what I got to do, bro. What'd you tell him? I didn't tell him nothing. He just no, but he says it because you're crying. That's why he's quitting. You know what I mean? Just... No. Listen, man. Listen. I got nothing to listen to you about, man. Listen, man. You're going to give up now. You, you can't just give up. And you're going to give up on the, at the time we're going to be at our best. I'm not going to have, I'm, no, well, good luck. Good luck. You know, but, luck. but you, you can't give up. You're part of this. How are you going to give up your part of this? We've been talking about fixing for, for five years. It ain't my bar. It's your bar, too. And right here, when somebody's here to help us fix it, are you going to walk away? That's bull, dude. It ain't my bar. It's your bar, too. You got 33% of this mother These brothers need to figure out if they even want to do this and if they can even work together. If they come back tomorrow, I'll help them rescue their bar. Right now, they need to rescue themselves. Tonight, I'm going to identify every problem we have, Andrew. And I want you to help out wherever you need it most and take advantage of that to study who is your best and who is your worst employees. So, Kim, as manager, I want to see you step up and run this place. This is your chance. Cameron, this isn't your party. This is Andrea's business, right? Yep. So, as employees, you never know what it feels like to go home and lose money. So here's a $50 advance tip for you. Now, every mistake you make during stress test tonight, Sean is going to take $5. Now you're losing your own money every time you screw up, just like you're losing hers. Let's go to work, guys. I got the glasses. You guys want a shot or something before we get rolling? Hello. Welcome. Remember, everything that we learned in training, make sure that you have a beer clean glass. I'll take a bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Hey, do you think I want any food? Burger. Medium rare, medium mid well. Three burgers, season them up, salt and pepper. OK, good. Uh, can I get an amber? I can already tell that has way too much head. First beer up, first beer down. Oh. Uh, Come on, camera. Way too much head. Do it again. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Two drinks. Cameron, you're going to be broke before you make anything at this rate. I know what it is. Here you go. Pick it up. Here okay, you go. I'm Here you go. Up. Here you go. I'll be back. We're ready to work. Oh, OK. OK, so we got Bud Light, Budweiser, Amber Bach. OK? Hey, um, Honey, I'll be right back to get the rest, OK? It's 12.50, you guys. Thank you very much. You OK? Oh, yeah. Right. I'm going to go pour the beers. Does that look like one inch of standing head to you? Listen, I can appreciate that you want to help, but right now you're just in the way, kid. We either got to get them right or get out of here. Where's Kim's bucket? Now get out. No bucket for Kim. This is beer you could be drinking. Well, what do you want me to do? Just walk around and see if you can help people. Food runner! Kim! Can I go this way, please? Rare first. No, medium rare, medium. No, it starts rare. I know. Here. This oh, is okay. medium rare. This is medium. How's Cameron? Um, laughable. Cameron's got five That's bucks how left. Much he has left. And at, after this drink, he might be broke. How's Tina yeah. doing? <laughs> Tina's the one with the most money. Can I get you anything? Like that. Like that. Awesome. I have two vice presidents of one of my most important clients here, and Bush. And they're expecting good beer and a great bar. 
I don't know anybody who knows more about beer than you guys do. So, how's your beer? You got a nice cool draft, but this is not a beer clean, ready glass. And you can see the head is gone, because it's not beer clean. Andrea, can I show you something for a minute? Yes, sir. Andrea, Rick, Josh, the head on this beer disappeared instantly. The glass itself wasn't beer clean ready. It is a good quality beer, but if it's served like this, you're getting a suboptimal experience. OK, uh, Tina, this glass wasn't drinks. properly cleaned. We need a new one. There we go. Now look at the head. Thank what do you say, you. Rick? So many cheers. I need someone to run the food. I got it, right here. So where is your manager? I'm noticing that some of you have drinks, uh, yep. whereas some of you do not. Those two never got their order down there. Yeah. Okay, come here for one second, please. You never took the order from the other half of the table. You said you'd come back, you didn't. I can't put no more orders in. I'm still waiting for these drinks to come out. Why wouldn't you put all of them in and say, I'm going to get your orders in. We're a little backed up, guys. They'll come out as quickly as but then at least they all come out. I was trying to help them in there, so I got half the yeah, order. You should have put a table this big. You should have at least wrote down the order. And, okay. you, and then you never came back. She Not back to take, you know what I'm done. Kim, you can't even manage yourself, nonetheless, anyone else. I'm done. I'm out of here. They're all yelling at me in there. Leave me alone. I'm done. I'm leaving. Stay out of my way. Just get this off me. I'm leaving. I quit O'Kelly's. Get the cameras off me. I quit! She is ridiculous. Here you go. Does anybody know where Kim is? She took off. She left. Kim, what happened? I'm leaving. Give John my I'm baffled. She, she is hysterical. I have not a clue. That one? Yes, please. Can I get? Do you know how to make a sidecar? No. Um, can I just get uh, just a Manhattan? No, we can't make Manhattans because we don't have the sweet vermouth. It's a viewer, so personality is a little tart. Okay, we have 35 minutes for this burger medium. If it does not come out burnt to a crisp, I will be, be surprised. <laughs> Yo, boss. Oh, man. Woo! Uh, medium or medium rare? It looks medium rare to me. It looks oh, medium yeah. rare to me. The burger's well done. Oh, the oh, my. So the steak was ordered medium, came out rare. The burger was ordered medium rare, came out well done. You had the $6.99 special on the sirloin. You're not making no money off of this. We're not. You're feeding this, this town for free. It's been a while since they took that out of my control. If you don't become profitable in two weeks, you're done. Somebody has to take control of this. It either goes down or succeeds because of you. I can't close my bar. I have a three-year-old. So you have a three-year-old at home, and the house is on the line? I can run part of it, but that's just one of me. It's a very large bar. I just feel like I'm all alone. I think it's just like a vodka gimlet. They don't know how to make a gimlet, probably. And you know, I already hear talking. All the right and I'm not going to double check. That's a vodka gimlet? This is just like a bunch of roses. Lime, lime juice. juice. Yeah. I'm about to go home. I don't give a I've ever done in my life. Bartender, uh, she just walked out. I ordered like gimlets and Manhattans and all these like foo foo drinks, and they're like, oh, she did it wrong. I don't want to be here. I'm not coming in tomorrow. I'm done. So Lindsay just quit. I can't afford to lose her. I'm sorry. I need to talk to her so that I don't lose her. Excuse me. I want you to stay here. I don't give a I'm done. I'm done. Is everybody OK? No. I don't care. Get the out of here. Everybody out. Hey, stop, stop, stop. I don't give a million other bars to go higher at, but I'm not doing this. Wow. This is bull What's going on? Don't worry about it. I'm 
pissed off don't right Don't tell now. me don't worry about it. I don't have time to talk with you about this right now. Get the out of my face. I didn't do anything. You guys need to pay all your tabs and get the out of my bar right now. We're done. Because this is not a good time to mention the soup is cold. Confronted with the sharp sting of reality, Tracy concedes Pirates has to change. She and John must now break the news to the rest of the band of pirates. The reality of the situation is we're not attracting the bulk of the people around here. And it breaks my heart to see all of you look like this right now. We have to push more towards a corporate atmosphere and less towards a pirate atmosphere. Not less. Pirates is dead. I guess we'll have to play pirates somewhere else. Guys, we got to fill this bar for lunch. I got to fill it for happy hour, or we're dead. I think I'll reserve my judgment to see how well you do exactly what you say. Now, is that the kind of attitude that is going to make us successful, guys? If you don't like what I'm doing, so be it. Because I'm not here to prove myself to you. You got to prove yourself to me. Are you here tomorrow or not? Maybe I'm not. Great. Good night. You're walking out on your family because you'd rather be a pirate. I'm walking out because I've got a head yelling at me. Well, somebody has to crack through because your attitude, Mr. Pirate, doesn't work. So are you going to be a part of this, or am I going to run you over? That's the deal. I am done with this. I am not going to be berated by some overbearing ass. I'm not going to let him ruin it for you. And I'm not going to let him ruin it for you. And I'm not going to let him ruin it for you. I'm not going to put up. Look, just take this up. Get that camera out of my face. I'm done. Guys, we're crashing. Come on, we got to move. With inattentive service and an overwhelmed kitchen, customers begin walking out. Well, we've been in here for 30 minutes. And we, we, get, we, we got water, but that was it. Customers are waiting to be served. They're waiting for food, for drinks. They're getting frustrated. We are missing our drinks. Me too. Back in the kitchen, Juiciano is oblivious to any of the restaurant's problems. I'm glad you're having a good time. It's your wife's business, but you're having a good time. Stop around. Pick up a meatballs, please. Huh? Pick up a meatballs, what please. What time is the kitchen close? Juiciano, pick what up a What time is the kitchen close? Don't ask closed. me what time the kitchen closed. I don't give a about your restaurant. About it. I learned tonight that Juiciano cannot run this kitchen. Juiciano, is this a party to you or you want to work? When he says do something, you do it. Get your together. That's bull. Make the meat go. It's my kitchen. Wait. Come. Come back. And go home. I don't stay here anymore. I don't stay here anymore. The Seattle, can you please wait? Look. I'm not talking anything Let's give Jason with you. a chance. You're out of the kitchen. Let's see how it works. Look, I, need, I, need, I need a chef. I think Jason is a very talented chef, and he knows he has a great opportunity in front of him. Do you want this? You got it. All right. In Juciano's absence, Jason takes control of the kitchen and tries to make a dent in the large backlog of orders. I think with me leading the kitchen, things will be a lot better. Come on, let's see how it works, OK? In Tracy's absence out in the dining area, there's even more pressure on the wait staff. Wait, Mike, I'm confused. What are you? Just, just give me a minute, please. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.